A new policy will go into effect tomorrow, which could affect the books on school library shelves. And as WSAB's Andrew Davis tells us, the state school superintendent calls it protecting our kids, but opponents say it's a new form of censorship. It's because these schools don't belong to educators. They don't belong to the elite. They belong to all of us. And with her new policy, South Carolina Education Superintendent Ellen Weaver believes everyone should be able to challenge what books are in school libraries. Resolution 43-170 gives the State Board of Education power to ban books from schools if they meet the state law definition of sexual conduct. Parents would get five challenges a month, and if the local school board doesn't approve their challenge, the decision can be appealed to the state level. If that board agrees, the book would be banned not just in that county, but in schools across the state. Proponents of censorship have been playing word games about book bans. They seek to redefine the term, but when you take a book out of a library or a classroom, that is a book ban. The ACLU of South Carolina says this policy is censoring students and could potentially take classics off shelves and out of kids' hands. The, the most important factor being considered here is the inclusion of any description or depiction of sexual conduct. That term is ill-defined and uh, depending on how it is interpreted could lead to the banning of books as diverse as the color purple, 1984, Ulysses. Just last year, Beaufort County created special committees to review 97 books in school libraries after complaints were filed. Five of those books were banned. The rest returned to shelves at approved grade levels. Beaufort County in particular was a, a test case. We saw what happened. We saw, you know, mass attempts at book purges. And when those local efforts were frustrated, um, the same activist groups turned their attention to the state level. We have seen their tactics. We've seen the books they come after. And um, this is going to open the floodgates, unfortunately.